When it comes to building strength and muscle with calisthenics, doing the right workout and performing the right exercises in the right way is very important, of course. But what most people actually neglect and what is arguably more important is what you actually do outside your workouts and more specifically, how you rest and recover. Because without an adequate amount of rest and recovery, you are greatly going to diminish the amount of gains and progress you can be making within the actual workout itself. So if you're new to calisthenics and you're looking to build some solid strength and muscle with bodyweight workouts, stay tuned and take notes as in today's video, I'm gonna go through five tips to build muscle with calisthenics whilst not actually working out. So let's get into the video. So the first tip, I'm sure you've heard this time and time again, but it's very neglected. Get your sleeping people. Sleep is so, so powerful. And it's funny really, because there's so many gurus telling you about the anabolic window and the anabolic shock for this exercise and after this workout, when the ironic thing is, is that your body is most anabolic during sleep. As during sleep, your body releases the most amount of human growth hormone during deep periods of sleep. And good consistent sleep is also going to help with cognitive function. So adding the two together, if your muscles are able to recover better and faster, as well as your nervous system, you can approach the next workout and the workout after that stronger and stronger, meaning more gains. And now I'm not suggesting I'm a bloody sleep expert or anything, but seven to nine hours of good quality sleep consistently at night is a good rule of thumb. Number two, keep your nutrition sound. Again, it sounds simple, but it's neglected. I'm sorry people, but rest days are not a good enough excuse to just eat pure shit, even though it is important to treat yourself time to time. The quality of the proteins, carbohydrates and fats you consume and fuel your body throughout the week is greatly going to determine the amount of energy and testosterone your body can produce. And if your body has more energy and testosterone, again, you guessed it, more gains baby. But what should I eat? How should I eat? When should I eat? If this sounds like you, fear no longer. Click this link here as I cover nutrition in a nutshell. You're welcome. Number three, analyze your workouts. After each workout, you want to assess what you're doing right and what you're not doing right in regards to each exercise you perform. And a camera is a very good tool to do this as it provides objective feedback. Don't always keep it subjective. Say you think you're doing this right, think you're doing that. It's so easy to lie to yourself, people. The camera doesn't lie. And the more you do this, the better you actually get at analyzing your workouts. And the better you get at analyzing your workouts, the easier it is to strengthen your strengths and correct any necessary weaknesses when executing a specific exercise. And if you're really new, like completely new to calisthenics, this can actually, understandably, be quite difficult to grasp. So what you can do is do a bit of research. And I've heard a pretty good source to start with is this YouTube channel. But in all seriousness, when you're able to strengthen your strengths and correct your weaknesses through assessing your workouts, you will be able to make far more effective progress if you are able to execute the exercises within your workouts to a higher standard. As a side note, don't do this during your workouts, all right? Do it afterwards. Don't try multitask. No, no. Now the fourth way you can build muscle whilst not actually working out with calisthenics is to continue to strengthen your mind and nervous system. I say continue because I actually mentioned this and discussed this a bit in my previous video. Now I'm not forcing you to do anything but I'd go check it out. Because all in all the body follows the mind so the stronger the mind the stronger the body's physical potential. For example, meditation, I mean, there's so many ways you can meditate, but personally, as soon as I get up every morning, 10 minutes a day, I just focus on my breath as hard as I can for 10 minutes. I think I've already said that. And also cold showers have actually shown to improve the sympathetic nervous system, AKA the fight or flight response, as it also improves blood flow and circulation. And so these two methods, I mean, there's, a load of methods you can do, but these two methods not only improve cognitive function, but also help with increasing testosterone levels and reducing cortisol levels, meaning more factors contributing to muscle growth and recovery with less factors doing the complete opposite and actually causing muscular breakdown. 
Personally, I actually do these methods for other purposes such as enhancing my daily productivity, but as I've mentioned and discussed already, it's good for gains too. Yeah. And the last method to build muscle whilst not actually working out is to reduce stress levels. And so to do this, keep and stay organized. If you're organized, you're less stressed. If you're less stressed, less anxiety. Less anxiety, lower cortisol levels. And I forgot to mention, but cortisol is basically the stress hormone, which isn't very good. For those that don't do so already, I strongly advise you actually get a to-do list and plan your whole day, the next day, the night before, if that makes sense, and prioritize your day and number each task in terms of when you're going to do them and how important they are based on what you want to achieve that day. What gets measured gets managed. If you're more productive in your personal life, you're going to feel far more energized and less drained, which in turn will improve your ability to produce more output within your workouts, leading to far greater progress than before. So again, it's another one of those that can improve your personal life, but also can help with adding an extra dash of gains. I don't even know what that meant. But that said, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a cheeky thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content, subscribe, my friend. As well as subscribing to the channel, turn on post notifications so you do not miss a single upload of mine. Stay tuned for future content for another similar type of video of this, as I'm kind of structuring my videos in like a playlist style, but that really doesn't matter to you but yeah goodbye for now